Hello, this is the Pythonic Accountant back again with another regular expression lesson. So this one's kind of an interesting one that was inspired from my last lesson where I wanted to figure out how you can reuse patterns from elsewhere so you didn't have to you know, keep typing the same pattern in over and over again. So uh, let's say that you wanted to start uh, creating patterns around you know, maybe like a, an employee ID and a last name, comma, first name, and then, you know, maybe some dollar amounts. Let's say you've got some line items you're trying to pull in from, uh, you know, an employee listing of, you know, something. Um, so let's, let's create this employee ID, uh, regex equals ra.compile. Let's say it's just a, you know, eight digit number. So we'll do exactly eight digits. And now we're going to do uh, last first equals ra.compile. And let's assume that it's going to be one or more word characters, so not a space, followed by a comma, followed by a space followed by uh, the last or the first name so or for the, for the first yeah exactly let's go with that and then let's do the dollar equals ra.compile and let's say that this can have commas in it so um, we're gonna have a let's say I'll start with a dollar sign so we'll do backslash dollar sign or no actually just dollar sign um because i don't think that's a special character is the dollar sign by itself so let's do starts with the dollar sign um let's assume that there's always going to be the number right next to it so but there could be a comma so it's going to be either a digit or a comma one or more of those followed by a dot and we have to escape that because a dot is a special character so to get a regular dot you just escape it um, and then followed by, let's say there's always two digits. Let's just test this out. So um, employee ID. So let's see, line equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Smith Bobby, followed by 1,534, 1, followed by $26.99. So that's our line. Let's do um, employee ID dot search line. That should give us the employee ID, sure enough. Now let's do last first dot search line. And sure enough, that gives it to us. And then let's do dollar dot search line. And sure enough, that, uh, oh, it doesn't give us anything. So we have a problem here. Maybe I do need to escape this. Let's see what happens there. Okay, yeah, so we do have to escape that dollar sign. So that works very cool. And we probably should, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about grabbing the, the group of the last first. So let's say we just wanted to combine these together into one um, reg X to let's say, you know, try to grab this line. And let's say we want two of the dollars in a row. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say line re equals, and we want re.compile, and we need r and f here. And so we want the employee ID dot pattern. And let me just show you real quick what that does. It's going to give us the actual pattern. If we don't do that, it's going to give us the compiled, and that's going to give us a problem when we try to pull it in here because it's going to include all the word compile. We don't want that. Um, so we want the employee ID pattern followed by one or more spaces, followed by the last first pattern, followed by one or more spaces, um, followed by, I think we want to do 
you know, let's just assume there's these two dollars. So then we're gonna do uh, dollar, yeah, dollar, dollar, followed by one or more spaces, followed by dollar. And let's just see if this works. Oh, we gotta do pattern. Dollar dot pattern and dollar dot pattern and line re dot search line. Cross your fingers. Oh yeah, we got a match. Fantastic. So now let's do this with some groups. Line re. Now we want to grab the employee ID, the last name and the first name, the dollars and dollars. And then we'll do line re, let's see here, let's see found equals line re dot search line found dot groups. Let's see, whoops, let's see what this does. I think that actually does something. It's a function, cool. I like it, let's see what happens. There you go, cool. Oh, this is great. So what you can do here is you can do employee ID, name, dollar uh, one, dollar two, equals found dot groups. And just for kicks, let's just turn this into a data frame. This is my favorite part of doing something like this. Import pandas as PD and df equals PD dot data frame. And let's do our first row is going to be employee ID. I'm just giving the names of the, the column. Actually, actually, let's just read this in. Um, equals EID name dollar one dollar two. And let's just not give it a column name. Uh, well, let's see if I remember it. Columns equals employee ID name. Dollar one. I'm trying to remember here if this is the right way to do it. Uh, shape is four one, and so I did. I'm not sure what I did here. Oh yeah. Then this guy. Let's see if this works. Df. Hey, there we go. So that's pretty cool. So now we're starting to see how you can use regular expressions and really some basic stuff that we've learned. It's not too hard. You know, we created a couple compiled patterns here. The employee ID, last first name, dollar, um, and then uh, applied it to this line using this combined uh, pattern here. And this, this pattern here, by the way, would be a lot more complicated looking if you used the, you know, individual code within here. But now that we've uh, abstract them up to the, the name of a variable, I think this makes it a lot more readable. You've got employee ID, last first, dollar, dollar. Um, and then now even better, you know, we're able to extract out the four variables from the found dot groups and then easily pull that into a pandas data frame. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you're interested in uh, seeing more like it and like the video, please subscribe and click like. Um, feel free to leave any comments if you have any, any thoughts or suggestions or questions about what we're doing here. And hope uh, hope you're enjoying the journey and hope we'll see you at the next one. Thank you.